All right, everyone, welcome back to the code house. In this video, we are going to be addressing JavaScript functions. So JavaScript functions are super useful and super important as well to learn. So if you don't know what JavaScript functions are or functions are in particular, then uh, let me just outline it in a nutshell for you in my own words. So um, functions are basically reusable pieces of code that you can pass arguments to which will then return a value um, once you've called it and once it's done all the logic that you've coded inside the function. And that sounds really fancy, but believe me, it's super easy and um, simple to understand um, as well as to create. So um, we're going to be looking at three things in this video, um, how to create a JavaScript function, basically it's syntax, how you can call a JavaScript function, and how you can use it um, uh, in JavaScript so that, uh, it, so that your uh, code is much neater and um, easier to read. Okay, uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is create a function, um, then we'll call it, uh, then I'll uh, tell you how you can use it um, in order to make your uh, life easier as a JavaScript programmer. So super easy to create a function just by calling the function keyword or typing the function keyword. Then you want to um, um, give the name of your function. So uh, in this case, I'll call it greet. You can call it whatever you want, but um, refrain from calling it something that JavaScript already has um, uh, predefined, like keywords of JavaScript and things like that. So if you typed in um, a function like this, then um, it's not going to be that easy to understand. So uh, you can see right here, uh, identifier expect, uh, expected uh, function is a reserved word that cannot be used here, okay? So that's just telling you that a function is a keyword that JavaScript has created and you can't use it uh, to name a function. So um, let's go ahead and actually just call it back um, to greet and now there's no errors. And then um, once you've done that, you want to um, and give the parentheses uh, after greet or whatever you've named your function space curly braces and this is how you create a function so um, in this case what we've done is uh, created a function called greet which accepts no parameters and um, has nothing inside so these two curly braces are the container uh, containers for your uh, code whatever's inside here is inside or is part of your greet function and um, what you want to do is type in as much code as possible um, that you can use later um, as well whenever you call it. So um, you can just type in whatever you want, but since we haven't done anything so far, we, uh, we can't do, uh, because we haven't uh, learned how to use JavaScript, uh, we can't do much with it. However, this is just to show you how you can create it. So um, one thing that you want to do when you call or when you create a function is to see if you have any parameters um, you want to take in. So in this case, we have no parameters, um, but the parentheses that are after the name of the function holds whatever parameters you want to take in. So I'm going to get take in one um, parameter called name uh, and then type a comma so that it separates the second uh, parameter, which is called age. And I can see they're a bit dimmed out because we haven't used them inside our function, which is the whole use of path taking in parameters. So you'll understand what parameters are for once I teach you how you can call a function. And you call a function by typing in the name of the function and passing in whatever um, whatever parameters are uh, or arguments are necessary uh, for it to have. And uh, in this case, let's go ahead and um, give a uh, give a, a name and uh, one thing that you need to know is that uh, the the name doesn't have to be text I mean uh, a string it can be a number it can be a uh, any valid data uh, data type in JavaScript so uh, you need to um, understand that and uh, you need to um, think about how you can uh, make it valid uh, or uh, make sure that you're getting past uh, the correct um, type of data and uh, we'll pass in a 13 as age and that is going to be um, our function call so now what happens when we call this is we're calling greet we're passing in the uh, anonymous string as the name and 13 as age so now in our function we actually need to handle it and the way you do this is um, you can actually take in 
whatever's been passed as name and age. So if I took name, what would happen is, um, and I called this like this, what would happen is, um, so if I, uh, this is just pseudocode, okay, this is not actual JavaScript code. So just, just to make you understand, so print, well, I think print is a function, yep, okay. So, um, so what, uh, so let's say print prints something to uh, some place, right? And I, I did print name. What would happen right now is once uh, the, once I ran this code, um, uh, then anonymous it would uh, anonymous would be printed to uh, wherever um, my uh, function is printing to. So um, that's the whole uh, use of um, functions because uh, and arguments because now I can access this name and age. So now currently, when I take a name, name is going to be anonymous, and age is going to be 13. And it doesn't matter how many times um, um, it's being called. So let's say I called it again with uh, something else. So um, I'll call it with uh, coding, okay, not a real name, obviously, and 18 as age. And I, I told um, my uh, function to print name and age, what would happen is, um, uh, it would first print anonymous, then it would print 13, then it would print um, coding and 18, uh, which is the whole point of function because um, it's reusable. So uh, I'm just going to type in some code um, that you don't, n you won't necessarily need to understand, um, and you will learn about this function uh, or method later in the next video. So you can um, watch that video after this video. So console.log is a method that JavaScript gives us, uh, which allows us to. Um, uh, log in our JavaScript console, which is in the browser, uh, whatever um, you want to console.log. So in this um, in this example, I'm just going to uh, type inside my console, console.log hello, and what should happen is hello is printed to me. Okay, so that's just the whole point of console.log, and uh, it's used usually in the browser or in your code, um, and it's something that I will be um, teaching in the next video. So um, I'm just going to print um, or console.log, uh, and I'm going to be using a string, a string template literal. Hello there, whatever name. Okay, you don't need to understand exactly what this does. Hello there, name um, your age old or age years old. Okay, so just think about what will what, the, what, what will happen. So it's gonna when I call this, um, which is already happening. Um, what happens is console.log, hello there, whatever name's been passed through, and whatever age has been passed through. So if I copy all this, uh, if I just copy this function, and I paste it in my JavaScript console, which is valid. Now there's a greet function that's um, that my browser understands. Okay, and now if I call greet with um, uh, my name and um, 20, okay, what should happen is uh, it should return, hello there, my name, you're 20 years old. That's exactly what happens right here. Hello there, my name, you're 20 years old. And you can call as many times as you want, passing in whatever you want, and that's just how um, JavaScript functions are used and created. So one thing that I'm going to show you before we end the video is the return keyword. So return is actually part of functions and it's used to return a value. So instead of this console.log, how about we took this and we pasted it right here. All right. Now what would happen is we are going to store this as a variable. So let's call this let um, greeting let greetings equals greet anonymous 13. All right, and now what's going to happen is we call this function, greet um, will do all the logic, and it doesn't actually have any logic. It's just returning hello there, a string, which is hello there, your name, which will be anonymous, and you're, you're 13 years old. So when we do this, we're going to have in the greetings, um, so if we printed greetings after this, uh, 
we would get, hello there, anonymous, you're 13 years old. But I'm not going to show that to you just yet. We're going to uh, watch the next video to see how you can display um, things in the browser and more about the return keyword, um, which is super useful. Um, it's used to return something from a function and whatever um, is a uh, what whatever is after a function um, return, um, and that doesn't run because that's just not part of it. Because once you've typed in return, that means whatever's after it, um, uh, whatever's uh, right after it is uh, returned to the uh, person who's uh, called it, and that's it. Function's done. So if I had typed in some code, you'll actually see it gets um, uh, dimmed out. So uh, so why do I keep doing that? Pool equals not equals false. And now you'll see everything is dimmed out because we're never going to be even running it. There's no use of it. So I hope you understood um, what we've done so far. And uh, I guess the last part might have been a bit too um, quick for you. But watch the next video if you want to know more about JavaScript functions and the return keyword in general, as well as the three, metho three methods that we're going to use in um, JavaScript to display a value or some text on to the browser. So until now, all we've done is just theoretically said um, that this is going to work, but uh, you've never actually seen it work um, other than this time when I uh, did this right here. Um, however, uh, watch the next video, uh, subscribe to um, uh, turn on notifications uh, so that you don't miss out on any new channel updates. Um, and as I said, we're, we're going really quickly through JavaScript um, and I'm hoping to cover it um, uh, in about uh, three or four weeks. So uh, don't miss out on any new videos, like the video and share the video with friends and family if you have any people um, uh, that you know that, um, that are uh, also um, wanting to learn JavaScript um, and uh, web development in general. And check out our other videos which um, include HTML, CSS and a few projects that we've done with it and um, also how you can use backend um, to create servers and everything. So uh, watch those videos, subscribe, turn on notifications, like the video, share the video, and um, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye for now.